In this video, we're going to take a look at doing a zoom effect in After Effects by adjusting the scale property and the anchor point of a layer. So I've got a layer here in my sequence, and I can see that it's larger than my animation viewport. So I've got some position keyframes set up where I can sort of slide that image across the viewport. So it gives us sort of a combination move of a boom and a crab or moving uh, down and to the right. Now what I want to happen uh, at the same time is to zoom in on this character's finger pointing at the blueprint. So pretty logical place to go uh, for that effect is to adjust the scale. And you can see I've got the transform properties expanded on that layer already. So I can just go and let's bump up the scale here and see how that looks. Now, Notice what's happening is, as I increase that scale, the composition of my frame is changing. Uh, the finger, which had been in the center of the frame, is now moved down towards the bottom. Uh, the reason that that's happening is because of this layer's anchor point. Uh, and so the anchor point of a layer in After Effects sets the center of rotation, the center of scale, and it's the reference point for the position, especially when we keyframe the position. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that scale change there. And uh, we'll basically need to do a couple edits before we can get the effect that we want, which is to have at the same time as we're doing this horizontal move, uh, I'd like to be zooming in to the character's hand uh, a little bit tighter over the blueprint. So let's go to the point in our sequence that we wanna zoom in on. And then with those two keyframes selected, I'll just click delete on the keyboard we're deleting them, we'll remake them in just a second. Now, we can adjust the anchor point of a layer by using these numbers uh, on the transform properties uh, of the layer. Uh, that's one way to do it. The better way to do it in this case, since I already have some of my composition set up, is by using this tool uh, from the toolbar called the pan behind tool. And so that's gonna let us just grab our anchor point and click and drag it, move it to wherever we need to. So I wanna place this right about here, uh, right about the point of interest that I want to zoom in towards. So let's go ahead and set up both our uh, position and our scale keyframes, and we'll run both of those animations at the same time. So I'll click the stopwatch next to position, I'll click the stopwatch next to scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit on our timeline. So right about here, I think it's just fine. And our position, uh, we can either set uh, through the number boxes next to the position property, or we can simply, uh, with the select tool, click and drag and take it back up to where we'd like the motion to start. So maybe something right about there looks pretty good. And you can see since we've turned keyframing on uh, on that position property, after Effects is automatically gonna mark that beginning keyframe. So we'll be starting here and transitioning down to here. Now let's go back to that first keyframe and I'm just holding down shift to snap right to it. Let's go ahead and set another scale keyframe. And at this point, I wanna make sure not to click the stopwatch because that'll delete all my scale keyframes. I wanna click the little diamond. That's gonna set a keyframe right at the playhead. So that's gonna save my scale at what it is right now, about 69%. And let's backtrack. And let's move uh, to our second set of keyframes. And now I can increase this scale. And you can see I'm zooming right in, right around that anchor point. So my composition's staying the same. I get to zoom uh, by adjusting that scale. And so you can see this is pretty easy. Whereas if I were trying to adjust both the position and the keyframe without setting up that anchor point, it would really be a lot of work. So let's just adjust our work area and we can play this back. And I think that's looking pretty good. I might want to have that zoom start a little bit later. So you can see we're already starting to zoom in uh, right about here. Now I could do that in the graph editor. I could also just simply uh, come and grab this beginning scale keyframe, slide it farther down the timeline so it just begins a little bit later. And 
and that's an effect that I like quite a bit.